you talk about Democrats who are running in rural areas need, mm -hmm. to, need to sort of run on their own brand and not be part of the national Democrats. What does that mean, really? Like, if you look at my yard signs or my bumper stickers, it just says Sherry Bustos Congress. It doesn't say Democrat for Congress, because it's not about the party. I want people to know who I am, what I've been able to accomplish, what I'm fighting for. My grandpa was a hog farmer. My husband's the sheriff of our county. My youngest son's a sheet metal worker. Those things matter. So when I go into a bar, I go into a union hall and somebody says, where are you on guns? I can say, well, I'm married to the sheriff. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. You also mentioned that Democrats need to go more on offense. First of all, I, I think what you saw in Virginia is Terry McAuliffe was on defense the whole close of that election. You know, we made a mistake in a debate, and of course the other side's gonna pounce on that. These elections are about mistake avoidance. They, right. they really are. If you're, if you're in a tough district or a tough state. Don't screw up, that's lesson one. It's mistake avoidance. <laughs> but there was a mistake that was made. But, and then the whole rest of the campaign was on defense. Let me go to my own election. My opponent last cycle said I was for defunding police. I literally thought, what a joke. Nobody's going to believe sheriff. that. I'm married to the sheriff. I just gave you the, our family credentials on that. And so I just thought it was a joke. Nobody would believe it. Well, we get some polling back that people believed it. So I made the mistake of, of not responding to mm -hmm. an attack on me. Yeah. But I can tell you politically, whatever I do in my future, I would never make that mistake again. I, right. th I think you punch first and you punch hard and don't be a punching bag.